Yeah. Right, time for joining us. Interactive Maps is here, and uh, we have one big video who's, yes. which, which has been trending since yesterday that has to do with uh, Kofiat Jodolo just fuming. And I mean, people have been reacting to this. We all love movies. We all want to make sure that, yeah. you know, our actors and our actresses prosper. And a lot of people have been reacting to that as the video has been going viral. So have people been speaking about it on In, social Any Slay bridge? Queen reactions? No, not yet. But I, you know what? Today's what? Tuesday? Yeah. I promise. Okay, not promise you, but I'll try and I'll make sure to get a Slay okay. Queen actress. We'll be looking for yeah, it to that. So Harold says, it's not good that people work and don't get paid. I know senior Kofi Adjolo personally. He's very playful and hardly angry. I know he's speaking the truth. He'd never do this. But, uh, okay. So Adiza says, it's really <clears throat> sad how people put... Uh, in their best and not get paid. The last part, though, which is the last part? Uh, uh, Mr. Interviewer, please ask better questions. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Lillian says, the way he was vibrating, he should tell you how serious uh, he is about the whole thing. This is not funny because when any of them get sick and demanding help, we accuse them uh, of being celebrities without money. How can someone work without payment? Funny Africa. And uh, David says, what? Ish, this man is my favorite Ghanaian actor. Whenever I see him in any movie, the way I'm happy, eh? I never knew the producers don't even pay him. Please, don't waste too much time. Go to Nollywood, because you're a legend, though. I enjoy that movie, Ghana Must Go. Very interesting. And right. Tony Yeboa says, it's not only in Africa or in Ghana that most of our celebrities sh suffer at the end. By his grace and mercy, I have my research done and seriously having a solution. Uh, he must PM Tony Yeboa. Okay. Uh, Don Francis says, the last part, though, Mr. Interviewer, please ask serious <laughs> questions. Uh, but seriously, that's bad. At the end, these actors die due to small sicknesses. And Osman Salimwa says, is it my ears or what? The English this man is speaking doesn't come anywhere near the English he speaks in his movies. Oh, why? <laughs> okay, I know movies are scripted, but the man seems to be joking here. Oh. Okay. I, 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 I haven't really watched Kofi Ajalolo, so I, I, I'm not really sure. You're not what sure whether he, he, he's sounding the same as him. Yeah, okay. But this one is from uh, Emmanuel Azai, who says, don't mind them. When we, the young producers, call them for work, they charge too much and frustrate us. I will eat this, I will sleep in this hotel. When you give them time to report, they won't come on time. Increasing production costs. They prefer to act for popular producers who will give them better hotels and promise them big money but will not pay. When you hustle to pay them to endorsing the movie for you too, they want money. To even come for the premiere, they want money. They frustrate we, the young producers too. Everyone is killing somebody and we are all killing the industry. I've been a, a production manager for eight years and a producer for two years, so I know what I'm talking about. Yeah, but you about. see, we ha we having heard what uh, Emmanuel has had to say, we're also hearing from uh, Emilia Brove who says, what, she charges between 3000 and 3500 And yeah. that should be, um, I'm thinking, that any producer who's worth this sort should be able to pay that. They're not asking for much, I think. Uh, uh, you see, the thing is that they're not asking for much, but the, the producers themselves don't have much, like in terms of funding, where, where, where do you think producers are getting their money? You, if you were a businessman or, yeah, a businessman, would you support Ghanaian film industry? Would you put $100,000 or 100,000 Ghana CDs in the movie industry? Because I don't have $100,000. But would you, if you did, you see? Maybe. So that's another thing is that people are not putting money into uh, the industry. All right. Yeah. So we have uh, Dennis Mapuri saying, look, I fully agree with Kofi Ajululu. The industry doesn't pay what actors are worth. There's a reason why the female actors are cutting corners by sleeping with rich dudes in the name of being slay queens. Aha. Uh Aha. -huh. Uh -huh. Slay queen reaction. Aha. Uh -huh. <laughs> you see, this is what we're talking about, too. Slay queen reactions. Right, there's one reply. I mean, you have a sleeping reaction, you read the reply. You read the reply. Okay, what we... Okay. <laughs> Big bro. Big bro, so, so true. true. Okay. 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 Richard Kawana says, it's not a matter of laughing, okay? Our system is very bad, and we, the young generation, uh, we got to speak with one voice, no matter where you find yourself in Ghana or Africa. The last one is from Andrews, who says, secure a job for yourself before you go into acting as a passion. You know, I, I, I disagree with, uh, with comments like that about securing a, a, a proper job. Acting is a, a proper pro job, actually. Well... No, it is a proper job. People go to school for acting. Yeah, but we don't make any money out of it. But it's still a proper job. But so it, so it, we, should, make no, you starve. we should never diminish that. Acting is a proper job. That's okay. all I have to say. And that's how we end your interactive. In, in journalism, too, it's a proper job. And journalism is a proper job. Yeah. Yeah.
is a proper is very hard but it's proper okay thank you All very right. much Izzy. thank you very much uh, master for bringing us your interactive uh,